What's going on guys? As I mentioned in my previous video, I'm going to start doing some Amazon FBA tutorials along with some other e-commerce stuff, but to get started, I'm just going to show you today how to add a product in your Amazon Seller Central dashboard. I know this is some very beginner level stuff, but keep in mind, this is the exact type of content that I was looking for about a year ago. So I just figured I would give back and make the type of videos that will help people who are in my position one year ago. So let's get into it. Here I'm in the Amazon Seller Central dashboard. This is actually my girlfriend's account. I'm just gonna use it because it's kind of a dummy account. I haven't actually sold anything for several months on this account. Um, so to add a product, we want to go into inventory. And from here, the drop down, you can click add a product. Now it gives you a few options here on the left hand side. If you were doing retail arbitrage or something of that sort, you could sell or list under another person's product. Um, this is often what hijackers do. I don't want to get into this too in depth, but because we're focusing on private label, we are making our own listing, our own brands, it's our own product. So we're going to go down here and like create a new product listing. Now for the sake of this video, um, I'm just gonna make up a product. You've probably heard it before if you've heard anything about uh, Amazon private label sellers, but we are gonna do the famous garlic press. So we're first searching for the product category. So you just write in whatever your product is and Amazon is going to find a bunch of categories that they think are related to your products. Now we see a bunch of options, garlic roasters, garlic presses, garlic keepers, garlic peelers, zesters and reamers, grilled presses and irons. We want to choose the category that is most relevant and the closest to what describes our product. So for this example, if we're selling a garlic press, obviously we want to click garlic presses as the category. Here, after it's opened up all of the details, we have to fill in um, some of these just to get started. And for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you exactly what to fill in. Maybe we can make that for another video. But um, for a garlic press, obviously we're gonna have to fill in the product name, the brand name, product ID, which I'll go into in the in the next video, and the offer details. Once you fill these in, you would click save and finish and your product is officially, the listing is officially created within Amazon's um, database. So that is it. It's actually, as you can see, very simple just to get a product listed. That doesn't mean that you're going to sell anything. Obviously there's a, there's a ton of work that goes into making the listing completely flushed out and um, you know, ready to sell. And I hope to explain these in future videos. Uh, I hope this was concise and helpful. And if you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.